The ringtail is that sail set from the peak of the gaff to the end of the boom for extra sail area going downwind. The bottom spar on Britannia's big ringtail has been broken and repaired several times, so it's time for a new one. I used a piece of clear grade Oregon or Douglas fir with nice close grain. The first job is to strike a centre line with a string line. I plotted out the taper by the age old method and laid those measurements out on the spar. I put nails in each of those marks and bent a flexible batten around the nails and checked that it was fair. Then I penciled the line in. I cut just outside those lines with the circular saw. Then I hand plane down to those lines with a number six. I checked regularly to see that I was keeping it square. And checked to see that it was a fair line. Once all four surfaces are planed to the correct taper, a simple spar gauge is used to mark the spar out for, for making it eight sided. The timber is then set up in simple chocks so that it can be planed eight sided. On a bigger spar, I'd probably start off with a draw knife, but here a power plane gets straight into it. All four corners are taken off with a power plane close to the lines drawn by the spar gauge. But as always, I'll do the fine tuning with a hand plane. The spar is now a regular octagon and then those corners are taken off to make it 16 sided and then those corners are taken off to make it 32 sided. Then the sanding begins. My old method was to use a shaped block of foam and a heavy grit paper to sand. It's good aerobic exercise but it's pretty tiring. So these days I use an inline sander with a curved block of foam. It's far less tiring but it's a lot noisier. Six or seven coats of varnish and the new ringtail spar will be ready to set on Britannia as soon as the season starts in a few weeks time.